Hi, I'm Hank. In other experiments, we've explored sight, sound, and smell. But now it is time for an experiment that explores the sense of taste. The sense of taste depends on special bumps on the tongue called taste buds. When taste buds detect something, like a piece of food, they send a message to the brain, and the brain tells the person what they put in their mouth. The thing is, though, not all taste buds are created equal. Some people can actually taste flavors that other people can't. Let's find out how. The only thing you need for this is some PTC paper, but this experiment is a lot more fun if you do it with some friends, especially if they're not related to you. Why does that matter? Let's find out. First, have everyone take a small piece of PTC paper, then make a prediction. What do you think this piece of paper is gonna taste like? Can I sniff it? Doesn't smell like anything. Looks like nothing. Is it gonna taste like paper? Is it gonna taste like nothing? But what does paper taste like? Once everyone has had a chance to guess, have everyone put the paper under their tongues and see how they react. Ah! It tastes really bad, very bitter. Like you might have noticed in your own house, some people could taste that paper and others could not. What do you think determined whether someone could taste this? Was it their age? their gender, their favorite kind of food, or their taste buds. It might not look like much, but PTC paper is covered in a chemical called phenylthiocarbamide, and not everybody can pronounce that word, but also not everybody can taste it. This is because not everyone has the same taste receptors. These are tiny spots inside taste buds that actually detect flavor. To be able to taste the PTC paper, you need to have a special taste receptor on your tongue. If your PTC paper tasted really bitter, you have that receptor. And if you don't, well, that's probably nice for you because the paper actually tastes pretty gross for people who do have the receptor, like me. If you want to learn more about why some people have these receptors and what they mean, you can watch our video about it over on SciShow. Thank you for experimenting with me.